All right, working in classic food storage bowls make you feel better about yourself. I'll tell you where, at Dixie's Tupperware Party. Make no where. mistake, though, Mikey D., this is not your grandmother's Tupperware Party. Your chance <laughs> no, to see for not. yourself at the Holland <laughs> Center starting tonight. And the star of this off-Broadway hit joins us now, Dixie Longgate. Hello, hey, Mikey. How are you? Everything is my very first time at home. Oh, I'm so <laughs> excited. I came in yesterday. I'm just here for the weekend doing a couple programs uh, at the Holland Center. I got, tonight we're sold out. Shut up. I know it's exciting. And then I got a program tomorrow and then two on Saturday, and then you know, then the lot chases me, and I go wherever. You I'm gotta going get out of here. Yeah. 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 I see you borrowed Mary's dress. Isn't this cute? I made this. You know what? I got the fabric at the Joanne Fabrics. I needed something I, I for church. I was just there this weekend. It's cute. Uh -huh. I love it. They said um, people make oven mitts oh out of it. I'm like, well, I'm gonna make an look oven at, mitt. Look at this it's got little cowboys in case someone has well, sex later. I can be like, he will do. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, wait a minute. Is this is this Woo! really a Tupperware party it deal? Is. Or is it? Well, I've been doing Tupperware for about 14 years now. It's the best crap on the planet. Everybody loves. Tupperware. And so I was doing it for a while. And then my friend, I was doing it in people's living rooms, and a friend of mine said, You should take this on stage and do it because it'll be fun. And I said, Shut up. But then I did. And I took it to New York, and it got all this attention. And then it ran off Broadway in 2007. And then I started touring in 2008. I'm still on the road. Wait a minute. Can you back up? So you were having a Tupperware party at your friend's house. Uh -huh. Right. And that's yeah. how all this got started. I did. Well, I was, you know, it's the best. Well, I was showing the plastic food storage solutions to people, and I was having fun and <laughs> making jokes. And then solutions. somebody said, You should do this on the stage. Uh -huh. you, I, I, I guess I got a personality. You're entertaining. <laughs> Stop it. You'll you say anything. I will. I'll say, hey, sometimes so I'll say it twice. What'd you bring in then? I mean, tell us about these well, classic stories. Some of the stuff containers. that, you know, people love and, you know, different things like, oh, that, like this is one of my favorite uh -huh. things because it's like a gift if you have children. It's a wine opener and you can put it in the stockings <laughs> yes, uh, for the yes. holidays. And you open wine, it's just got two simple pieces and you can put it right in the glove box. Like, uh -huh. let's say you're driving and you're like, hey, <laughs> I'm parched or whatever. Then you can reach for your stash and just uh -huh. open this in like two well, seconds. Let's say you're done. drinking responsibly at home. You can use it then too. You can do what it else did you bring and in? And you can put it in the tumbler that's not going to spill. So when you're um, drinking oh. wherever you go, you know when you're having like sex or whatever, and you're like, oh, I spilled. <laughs> you don't because the straw goes in, and you can just. You have a very healthy these. appetite for intimacy. I do. Well, listen, because this is the most intimate party in the world. Remember, your grandmama would go to the Tupperware parties, uh -huh. and you'd say, what is she doing with all her friends in that room? She was learning about creative food storage solutions and learn how to save money. Who yeah. don't want to save money, especially in this day and age? She's like, I can put something in a bowl, and it's going to last for a long damn time. Because <laughs> Otherwise, sometimes it gets nasty and bad, and you say, I don't want to put that in the You toss it as cash in the trash, Dixie. Cash. I never even heard somebody say it like that. That's so funny. Yes, cash in the trash. You don't want to do that because you can I spend that, that that money on other things. Or on Trippers, your earrings shoes, with your name. Earrings, they say my name. Can my we friend, look at her earrings? My you friend got these yeah. for me for the holidays. Here, Dixie, would you look right way? here? Over here. Where? Well, so they say my name. Isn't that great? I know. And then, like, if somebody pulls me over and they say, what's your name? I'm like, it's there. Can't you read? <laughs> and they say, well, have you been drinking? I say, if I've been drinking, would I be able to make my name out of 10? No. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Yeah. People what do people sweating. think about your show when they see it for the it's first time? It's fun. Well, it's like a Tupperware party on stage. There's mm -hmm. games and prizes and raffles and interaction. I get people up to help me. But it's fun. It's also um, a great empowering story about you know how to take yourself up from your bootstraps, which is kind of the, the, the way Tupperware's always been. It's a thing that came about like during World War II, right after that, where everybody was sort of working in the, in, you know, the, Rosie the Riveter mm -hmm. came to power. And then they were, all the ladies were said, go back in the kitchen. And, and Tupperware was the way to get people back out there having their own mm -hmm. businesses making their own money again. And so I use that story to sort of get people back in that, that phase of, I can do anything. It's fun. What's the new Tupperware releases? Are there, are there new and exciting developments There's in the Tupperware new world? And exciting. The science well, because taking this to it, another level? Yeah, you know, it's funny because people, it wouldn't still be around if it was uh, for 65 years if it was the same old bowls. Mm -hmm. But we have stuff now, you, you can microwave stuff, you can put some mm -hmm. Tupperware in the in the, um, the oven. There's different oh. things we have. Oh yeah, there's all kinds of crazy stuff mm -hmm. because we always know that, uh, that as people are going on. Uh, this this is a screw top. Lid. It's a screw top lid for its commuter mug. So let's say you're commuting yeah. and you like your coffee, you put he it in there. He likes his protein shakes. Amen. Oh, oh, yeah, so you got a blender bottle listen. right there. Oh. This little protein shaker. My grandmama used to make gravy out of it. She said, get yes. my hooch. Well, yeah. <laughs> she was like, I'm fucking green. You know how that is. I was like, why is the vodka out there? And then, But this makes them little the things. And because of this little thing, it mixes it up so you don't get anything lumpy in your mouth. Do you sell no. Tupperware at your Everybody shows? Everybody gets a catalog and an order form. And then That's if they hilarious. want to at the end, they can come out and buy some 
Tupperware. Well, Tupperware people know all about you. They and what are you're amazing. Up to. Well, I go to the Jubilee every year, the big Tupperware mm -hmm. convention uh -huh. in, in the, uh, Orlando, which is where World Headquarters is. And, oh my Lord, it's like the Academy Awards of plastic food storage because people get up, they get recognized, they dress all uh -huh. pretty and everything. Oh, who amazing. should come see you? Yeah. I mean, I think it's, I should come see well, you. Our grandma should take our grandma. But I wouldn't bring my kids, oh, kids unless you want them to learn new mm, words. I'll it's put you, kid, you know what? Kids should be at home, <laughs> asleep, mm -hmm. bound to the bed with a cloth so they can't escape. You know how kids, <laughs> when they get out, oh, it's just hassle. But you say some colorful things on stage. I say some colorful things because the Tupperware is colorful. Why wouldn't <laughs> that? <laughs> but, um, no, it's, you know what? It's, uh, of course, everybody that loves Tupperware should come, but it's more, yeah, it's, yeah lot, there's men that come all the time. Yeah. Sometimes they think, oh, I don't want to go to a Tupperware party. And I, I say, love good Tupperware. Well, love and it. you like to laugh and have a good time, mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. So you're going to see all them ladies mm. at the party with you, and the odds are going to be good that you're yeah. going to get up. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Tonight at 7.30, tomorrow at 8 o'clock, and Saturday, two shows, 2 o'clock, 8 o'clock, yeah. all in Performing Arts Center. You know it, girl. Oh, I'm going to be Dixie. there. So, yeah, and we're sold out tonight, so don't even come tonight. Don't even I'm try it. Get don't out. But you've got three other three chances to get in on it. I'm telling you, I'm more excited. I'm going to have more fun than you can check a stick at. Something tells me that's true. a stick is a stupid waste of time. You ever done this? I don't know why this more fun than that. Of course it's more fun than that. Thank you, Dixie. It's a pleasure to meet you. A pleasure's on mine. Thank you. Love your Tupperware. Bless her.